I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I stole a detective's ID and dressed like him. I planned to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out and managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on camera. There wasn't any murder in that evidence room on, on the evidence room at 5.15. So the supposed victim was really you? But there is one thing I still don't understand. Large quantities of blood traces were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Did you not see the amount of blood on his coat? That was a lot of blood. Officer Meekins managed to cut his own hand. I told you! My guess is he's the donor. They did test? Doesn't Mike. look like it yet. Mike, what is wrong with you guys? No testing, no luminal fluids, no fingerprint dusting, no nothing. What is wrong with this police department? I mean, I think they, I think they did actually, because they knew, because taking what Edgeworth says, it seems like they, they knew about the fingerprints. But and and the blood and the gloves, they knew about the glove, the the dude wearing gloves. So. But they didn't spray any luminal testing fluid at the other crime scene at the car. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Eight, eight, not even sixteen. A fifteen-year-old girl did that. Mm -hmm. It looked, it looked like too much blood for that. I do not know how much blood a hand has, so, you know, what ifs. <laughs> when you say it, you mean... Do you even have to ask, partner? The SL9 incident. Two years ago, two years, the two years have passed since that case was saw, closed. It was going to completely end with the transferal that day. Now, if I had anything to do with it, that incident's not over. But, but what do you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? When a case is closed, only the detective who was in charge of it can look through the evidence. I wanted to take a look at myself one more time, no matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says, partner. That case is mine. It's his because he has something personal with it. Yeah. But Officer Marshall was in charge of that inv investigation. Why does he care so much about it? I left it on the floor in the prosecutor's office parking lot. The ID card I found was left there by Officer Marshall. So essentially, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. What, what do you mean, partner? I mean, the fingerprint activated lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Normally, that locker shouldn't have open, opened. So it opened because a rubber glove was stuck in the door by chance? Then, Detective Goodman must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. Mm hmm. Alright. You pulled a knife on Officer Meekins and tried to drive him off? Let's just say I was a little surprised. I only planned on being in the evidence room for no more than five minutes. I bet it's that knife right there in his hand. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would actually come in during that short time. Officer Meekins certainly is a one in a million type of person. Mistaking a detective for an intruder and demanding to be shown his ID. Okay, so like, I can't believe he was like, oh my gosh, there's someone suspicious in right. the evidence room when he knows there's an ID card reader. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to think a little more about his raise this year. Uh, when did Edward get so in much influence <laughs> when he become high prosecutor? Yeah. Anyway, he threw himself at me and I ended up cutting him slightly. I'm sorry I had to turn out that way. With me knocking him out and everything. By the way, what happened to your knife? Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, I see it right yeah. there. He's using it to cut his beard. Yeah. 
I don't know what to say. I don't either. Hmm. So what happened next? Even the judge is like, let's move on! Yeah. Alright. So you did your research beforehand. I mean, he doesn't have to do research. He mans the station! Those who go into the desert unprepared don't live long, partner. I didn't think it would m make much of a difference, though. The security tape is erased every six hours. If I had gotten gone as planned, if it had gone as planned, no footage would have been left. However, you bloodied your coats in, all, in, your, in your struggle with Officer Meekins. If someone was in the security room when I found when I came out, the jig would have been up. I opened my locker and stashed it in there. What was Officer Meekins doing during that time? He was unconscious. Yeah. yeah. What else? He was sleeping like a baby. So what you're saying is on that day... But the blood found at this crime scene, at the scene, certainly indicate a crime took place. Were you blind? The victim shown on that tape is me. And I'm not dead yet, partner. A crime, not a murder. Yeah. So you stole evidence from the locker. Actually, no, I didn't. Why not? When I opened the locker, all, the evidence was already gone. What? Miss Redgeworth, where's that evidence? It's still missing, Your Honor. Except for the knife. Yeah. And the vase. Detective Goodman locker was already empty. Someone else stole the evidence. Officer Marshall, may I ask you one day? Fire away, partner. It's free country. Just remember, I'm also free to decline whether or not to answer. What is your ID number? <laughs> Why did you do this? Stealing a detective ID, injuring a police officer? This is no small offense. Oh, look, look the music. Moreover, you're an officer yourself. This will have serious consequences. It cannot just be forgiven with the simple cut in salary. Not that salary cuts are ever a valid solution. Like I said, this ain't your case. It's m this one's mine. And I'll do anything it takes to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Hmm. With the, the witness has an unusual amount of zeal. Let's hear more. And more testimony. I just can't forget about the D. Yes, L six. Oh right, that's new. Yeah, My that's bad. New. But the case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? That's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence room. Joe Dark was, Joe Dark was convicted for those crimes. Joe, the most, the yeah. most like. Joe. Name, the most common name, the, like typical name you could ever give someone. One thing I can say for sure is he deserved his sentence. I remember the Joe Dark case. It involved serial murderers, didn't it? I don't intend to complain about how it turned out. But there's something that still bothers me. Something went down at that trial. Something no one will talk about. What happened? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to find out. Why is he so concerned with that incident? Maybe I should present him with what I think is his real answer is. His real reason is. I had a feeling we wind up here sooner or later. Everyone involved here is related in that case, in some way to that case. I better take another look at the files. So last, I'm assuming like last bit. There we go, stop. I know exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yeah. Neil Marshall. Neil Marshall. That was not bad. <laughs> Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Sounds like you've been slipping too, sipping too much cactus juice, partner. As proven by Sokka. Sokka, yeah. You have to juice it, it's good for you. It's a giant mushroom. Maybe it's friendly. 
I have the SL9 incident file here. The name Marshall isn't mentioned here. And not just your name. <laughs> and a list of murder victims. Neil Marshall, are you related to this man? Neil Marshall? Did no one make that connection? Yeah, I'm sure you heard his na that name. Two years ago, he received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. Oh, he was a pro he was a prosecutor. What? A prosecutor? He must be talking about the King of Prosecutors of Award. Now I remember. Prosecutor Neil, Mar Neil Marshall. He handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right. He was killed. And the case fell into your hands. But what's his relation to you? He was my brother. He was investigating the murders with Damon Grant, chief detective at the time. The group of detectives I was part of worked under them. We were desperate to prosecute the killer. Joe Dark. That looks like that is the face of a serial killer. Yeah. My brother fought Dark, Dark and was killed. That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. If it was, then I feel like that wasn't actually the murder. He was... He was arraigned... Uh, yeah. Arranged? Arranged, I did. Arraigned. Arraigned and incarcerated. The case was finally closed. At least according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one would have beaten him in a fight. And that's it? That's your reason for your insane actions? There's more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. Well, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the police department on the day of the crime. That was the last day the SL9 case would be reopened. Could be reopened. Not satisfied with its re resolution, Officer Marshall plans to steal the evidence. Disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he entered the evidence room. Officer Meekins confronted him, so he rendered him unconscious and fled. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. But something else did. The empty locker. <laughs> and that's bad for us. The things that happen by chance never cease to amaze me. At exactly the same time as the murder in the prosecutor's office, the fake murder was going on at the police department. chance it's got to be more than just that so if no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime that means the murder on the prosecutor's parking lot was the real one which in turn means only the per the only per one person could have committed the crime chief prosecutor lana sky but but wait a verdict wasn't reached in yesterday's trial which is why we examined the incident at the police department today. But... There's only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. There will yet remain the mystery of the simultaneous murder at the police department. It seems to me, this boy's got the draw on you, partner. All the mysteries at the police department have been uncovered. Now, no contradictions. Remain- gosh. Okay, one thing I will say, that because of the limitations on the on the Game Boy, on, on, the, on the Game Boy Advance, they fit all, all sentences into the same text box. But when it, was po when it was ported over to the DS and added additional case, it got split, the sentences got split up like crazy, like this, where remain is the last word in the sentence in a different text box. It, it's not, it's fine for reading in your head, 
But when you're saying it out loud, you take odd pauses. The murder took place at prosecutor's office. The only suspect is Lana Sky. There are no errors in the testimony of the witness, Angel Starr. If you have a response, make it one word or less. Objection. <laughs> ah! Ah! That's not the word, Phoenix! <laughs> I rest my case. Wait, 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 what's Emma doing there? She didn't come back! It seems that this trial has reached its conclusion. There's no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time. Oh my gosh. Disapproving the alleged murder at the police department. Why did we disprove the alleged murder at the police department? <laughs> There's no doubt that I, what that what I proved today is true. The apparent murder on the security camera tape really was fake, but I didn't realize that would end up proving Lana's guilty. Oh, Lana guilty. Now then, time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. Hold it! Oh, hi, Emma. Y your honor. Wait! Oh wait, I forgot the voice actor. Emma! The, the defense have an objection, a scientific objection. Right? What? what do you mean, right? Mr. Wright, are you this girl's guardian? No. Your Honor, uh... Oh, uh, in a sense. Please, Your Honor, uh, all, all I'm asking for is a minute of your time. Please hear me out. Mr. Edward, please. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. Okay. I... I was kind of in shock. I mean, finding out the SL9 incident referred to the Joe Dark killings. Now that she mentions it, the name of both Sky sisters were in that file. But that's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day. So I knew his fingerprint had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one day, the other handprint. You mean the traces of blood found on Detective Gumshoe's locker? But no fingerprints were found on it, right? No, but I figured, I figured if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to find a clue. So, I ran over there and looked at it again. Ran there? Holy crap! Yeah! So, did you find something? Well, uh, I'm not sure. Um, no. Huh? huh? Sorry, I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. I mean, you don't have- You yeah. only have the liminal testing yeah. and the, the fingerprint thing. Um, is that all? Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. And I'm just an attorney. <laughs> but Mr. Wright, those traces of blood are only, no, only clue we have. If we can't find something wrong with them, please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If anyone can save Lana, it's you. Me? Oh boy. Time is up. Now then, Mr. Wright. With regard to the incident in the police department, <clears throat> does any any reasonable but doubt remain? Yes. Actually. If... If Marshall took away around the camera, he couldn't have went in front of Gumshoe's locker, and that handprint couldn't have been left behind. Also, that handprint was going into the police department, not going out of. I believe. Wait, hang on. It's not in here. Never mind. J.K. Yeah. <coughs> um. It appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. Never mind. It is going out, but what I say is true. If Marshall did go around the in a way around the camera, out of view, he couldn't have gone in front of Gumshoe's locker. That would be in the view of the camera. The gun- the uh, blue badger was there. The blue badger was there, but even with the blue badger there, we would've- he still went out of sight of the camera. Looking at the floor pan- plans, a handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Wait. I just said it. I just... 
Sorry. Wait, wait. What? Is Mar Officer Marshall gone? We have him testified. Did you leave that handprint? Mr. Wright, I'm sorry I can't be of more use. But still, if you can't find anything wrong with that blood mark, Lana will be... Please answer my question, Mr. Wright. You don't have all day. Well, yes, Your Honor. If I ever, if ever I needed to concentrate, it's now. Why would there be something wrong with the handprint on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Ugh. I just, I hate this. It's so long and I don't have a fast forward. Huh, like I said, he couldn't have you would still be able to see him beyond behind the blue badger if he did. Hang on, I have to look at it again. Which means we have to watch this long ass thing again. Why? Why did you ask for a budget? Why? Oh why? something I'm missing <laughs> I mean that's then Lana's thing would be like you know there's there's no problem here <laughs> no. this headprint left at the crime scene clearly shows a contradiction the only thing that seems clear to you is it clear is you're grasping mr. Wright You've been staring pretty intently at those floor plans. Tell me, is there a problem with them? Yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is missing. Missing? You mean something hasn't been drawn in there? Yes, something that, when drawn, would completely change the meaning of the blood mark. Let us pray the defense isn't simply trying to buy time. Very well, Mr. Wright. With all this evidence... With all this evidence here, there's got to be something I can use. The question is, which item can prove something is missing from the floor plan? The blue badger. This is the only thing that's not there. I mean, it's the only thing that's not there on the video set. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you gave it away. That was I the did. only thing I was talking you talked about, the yeah. blue badger. What about that piece of plywood? <coughs> the blue badger, mascot of the police force. Defender of truth, guardian of proof. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Please look at the four plans of the crime scene. The blue badger is not here. So? So watch what happens when we put him in. This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. Oh, he could have gone behind there. Yeah. Well? Well, what? <gasps> That's right. As long as Blue Badger is dancing here, it would be impossible to place a handprint on this, on this spot on the locker. At this spot. 
What? Why is Marshall being like this? Is he trying to say that he- Is he trying to make it that he put it there? I mean, what? So that means, uh, what does that mean? It means it can't be done. What are you saying? Blood traces were undi undeniably found on that locker. Don't look at me. I didn't put it there. Mr. Wright, think it through scientifically. And you, like, jump behind us. Okay. Uh -huh. Emma, on that afternoon, Officer Meekins was the one who brought the blue badger to the evidence room, right? After he put it down, it would be impossible to leave a handprint on that lock. So that must mean this blood mark was left before the blue badger was brought in. Wait, did he bring it in? Saw that blood mark was like, everything is good. Everything is good. Well, yeah, probably. Just one moment. I will not allow such far-fetched ball to dash in my courtroom. It may sound far fetched, Your Honor, but it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st, in the police department's evidence room, blood was spilled not once but twice. B but how? One time was captured on this tape, taken by the security camera. Officer Meekins cut his hand from a trivial amount of blood, which a trivial amount of blood fell. The problem is, the other time, someone bled prior to the struggle shown on this tape. It had to be dead. Detective Goodman, when he was really murdered. But that's ridiculous. I refute you. The murder portrayed in the security have proven to be a fake. However, that does not explain the blood mark found on the locker. So then, assuming this murder you purport really happened, when did it take place? I demand you show evidence that the proves that when it occurred. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Seven? Four? Twenty? Twenty twenty Perfect! Well, in the time span of four o'clock. Yeah, and twenty minutes before Miles Edgeworth shows up. Seven, 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 seven. seven. So many sevens. That uh, is Gant's number, isn't it? I, I said it before, I think it's his number. When did the first incident occur? To surmise, the defense's claims that prior to Officer Meekins being cut by Officer Marshall, who was disguised as Detective Goodman, another instrument, instrument incident took place in that evidence room. The blood mark on the blocker proves this. Very well. Then tell us. When did this first incident occur? Proof must be... Present, my yeah. bad. Yeah. Proof that, that shows when the murder took place. There's only one piece of evidence that can show that. Now then, will the defense please present this, its evidence? What shows when the first crime took place? It has to be this. And it matches with the autopsy report. If the crime took place inside the evidence room, then the perpetrator would have to have entered the room in order to do so. An ID card is required. An ID card? Oh! The ID card record! Officer Meekins brought the blue badger panel into the evidence room at... Let's see. Let's see here. 4.50 p.m. I can't tell if that's actually the judge. It's judge. Yeah, okay. If the crime took place before that time, then it would be... My old age were. 4.40 p.m. <laughs> ha! <laughs> ha! Ha! I like how everyone, like, disregarded the first yeah. one. My, 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 it doesn't take a lot of thought to figure it out. It couldn't have been me. Hmm? Nope, ain't getting it. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't understand either. I do. It's clear from the luminol test that the blood was there. However, when the second crime took place, both Officer Meekins and Officer Marshall failed to notice the blood. That means... That means the blood from the first crime was wiped away by the real murderer. <laughs> I would have had 
I would have had just 10 minutes to murder the victim and carry his body away. And clean up the blood. Unfortunately, that's physically impossible. But it's possible in 20 minutes. Yeah. That would mean the crime must have taken place before Mr. Edgeworth entered the evidence room. I thought they were going to say that because of the attorney reward. Yeah. Let's look at the chart again. There's only one other card number remaining. Seven, 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 seven. I think I seven. Was, I think, was that one too many? No, one less. One less. Seven. Yeah, there we go. Talk about a lucky number. Unlucky now. But wait, that doesn't make sense. How could Officer Goodman have entered the evidence room? They entered together? Since there's no record of his card being used beforehand, he must have entered along with the real murderer. That's the only plausible explanation. That and his card was taken, so he probably had to go to someone and be sure. like, I need to go to the evidence room. Evidence room, room sure, yeah. Like, the chief of police. Right. He went in with 7777777. Seven, 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 seven. Was that seven? Uh, I, I lost count. Okay. Do another seven for good, good measure. Seven. There we go. Mr. Edgeworth, please look at look into this ASAP. Find out whose ID number is seven 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 seven. Say one more. Seven. <laughs> That's one seven too many, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm unable to look up that the owner of that ID card. At least at present. What? Explain yourself, son. Son. The ID number is seven 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 belongs to someone with the rank of higher of captain or higher. Someone who is so called executive officer. We don't have the authority to inquire into such personal person's identity. But that's ridiculous. Just how I'm not finished talking, Mr. Wright. There is one situation in which we can be granted such authority. Oh, hi, Pop. Come here. Come here, Pop. Did you hear something? Yeah, I think she heard something. All right, you want to go down? Hi, Pop. Yeah, there we go. Pop, Pop Joy makes her Escape. appearance. Makes makes her makes her yet another appearance and bits of bite. If an officer char if an official charged fi yeah. if an official charge filed against an executive is accepted. An official charge. You're all alike, aren't you? With your cover ups and your forgeries. I'm sorry, what is this cover up forgeries? That's how the prosecutor's office operates. I mean not. Uh, apparently it is forgeries. Mm -hmm. I take pride in my work, Officer Marshall. I would appreciate it if you kept your slander to yourself. Slander, is it? Okay. Let me ask you a question. Yes? No, not you. To her, the defendant sitting over there. Your own little executive. Hello, Lana. Don't be stupid. She's been charged with murder. I thought you were talking about the other girl uh, sitting yeah, next to us. Yeah. Of course, we've looked uh looked up her ID number card, and it's not seven 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 seven. I think that was seven sevens. I think that was seven sevens. Darn it! I would kind of hope it was her, but then yeah. again, that would be bad. Yeah. Don't play me for a fool, partner. That's not what I want to ask. All I want to know is one thing about that incident. The SL9 incident? Answer me this, Chief Prosecutor. In that trial two years ago, did you really only use legitimate evidence? Okay, now she's taking a stand. Do you need the witness to repeat the, his question, Chief Prosecutor? I like how there was a pause in order to get her to yeah, the stand. Right. Yeah. I heard him fine, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, I was in charge of the prosecution for that trial. At the time, we... Occasionally, we felt the powerlessness of the law. 
At least I did. Lana, I became a prosecutor in order to suppress crime with the law. But before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. Defendant, what are you just what are you saying? I'll ask you again, Chief Prosecutor. During that trial two years ago, did you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look me in the eye, an investigator in that crime, in the eye and say that you did? Chief Prosecutor, you didn't! I don't have to, Officer Marshall. Why don't you answer him? Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. I just got flashbacks to Dual Destinies. We did what we had to in order to get him to, in order for him to get the verdict he deserved. But Lana! Even if it involved forging evidence. See? That's what I'm talking about. No. No! Order! 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 Lana's remarks cut such a stir that the chaos in the courtroom could not be quelled. The conclusion of the trial would have to wait until the following day. To be continued. Holy shit. Yeah. So Our... Edward didn't know, but Chief Proskurter did. Yes. The ends justify the means. <laughs> yeah, but that's not real justice. That's not, that's not, yeah, exactly. And there's a case in Dual Destinies all about that. All right, guys, in the next episode, we're going to be heading over back to the investigation day Day three of the investigation, where we're going to continue to look into our case and see one who left that bloody handprint and learn more about this case and how to properly defend Lana Sky. See you guys then. Bye.